trachea will divide into the primary bronchi, which will go to the right and left lungs. And you can see A would on this side right over here is the right bronchus, primary bronchus, and B is the left primary bronchus. The primary bronchus extends from, from here to about over here. All this is the primary bronchus on the right side, and right over here you have the primary bronchus on the left side. The right lung has three lobes, and right over here you have the secondary bronchus going to the superior lobe of the right lung, and right over here you have the secondary bronchus going to the middle lobe, and then down over here you have the secondary bronchus going to the inferior lobe of the right lung. And on this side, there are, uh, the, the left side, you have two lobes, the superior and inferior lobe of the uh, left lung, and right over here you have the secondary bronchus going to the superior lobe, and down over here you have the secondary bronchus going to the inferior lobe of the left lung. There are 10 uh, bronchopulmonary segments in each uh, lung, although in the left lung uh, very often these bronchopulmonary se segments will fuse so that you can get as few as eight uh, bronchopulmonary segments on the left side. And uh, so uh, the bronchopulmonary uh, segments are supplied by bronchi, which are now tertiary bronchi. And on this model, the tertiary bronchi are easy to see. This is also known as segmental bronchi are easy to see because they are colored. So right over here you can see, again, you can see up here, this is where you have the primary bronchus. Then you have the secondary bronchus going to the superior lobe over here. And then you can see that these bronchi are colored. And these would represent, each color represents a segment. So these represent the tertiary or the segmental bronchi. So the colored parts at the ends of this bronchial tree are showing you or representing the tertiary bronchi, the segmental bronchi. One caution about this model is remember, always remember that what we are looking at here are the passageways that are supported by cartilage. And when you were talking about a bronchus, a bronchus is defined by being supported by a piece of cartilage. So as long as there is cartilage present in the wall, it's a bronchus.